dude so season two is about to be live i think it's going to be released uh same i think everyone already has the download but it's gonna be uh released uh uh <clears throat> um starting november um so basically season two there's gonna be another map with your server and four other servers uh with similar um uh, they have similar, you know, levels and stuff to you. They're match made to you. And it's a new map. They're adding level 6 through 10 communities. And they're adding a new enemy. Uh, this woman. They revealed her in another post up here somewhere. Uh, so there's they're adding this new enemy in a new season 2. Queen of the Dead. Okay, so this is the post with the uh, level 10, 6 through 10 communitas. And uh, I'm guessing this map is going to be a little bit bigger if you're going to have four, four servers. To qualify for Season 2, you have to have a base level 16 um, or above. Uh, I... Um, so I don't know if it's possible, but if I do participate in season two, I will probably be teaming up with somebody else uh, from another server because I'm really trying to get into that top 10 and I don't want to help other clans in my server get some rewards or whatever. You know what I mean? If you're going to bring your clan into that, um, you know what I mean? You got that. You 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 you're on your own. Then you then you do that, and the season two is over in ten weeks, and you back in the server. I don't help you. You know, get better than me. So that sounds weird. Um, if I do do season two, uh, and my my clan is not that big enough to compete. So if I do do season two. I will be aligning myself with uh, other servers. With uh, if uh, if somebody starts a clan in another server, or <clears throat> I could try to start my clan, my own clan, because they do have weak. I don't want to say weak, but they're not that powerful clan leaders in my server. So. Possibly, maybe I could start an, uh, another clan in this season too. I didn't think I would qualify because I currently do not qualify. My clan does not qualify for restricted zone. But according to these releases, these information, you have to be level sixteen. Um, level sixteen uh, to qualify. I think you can't change clans i think you're gonna be in the same clan in a new server so season two probably probably not even gonna really be able to participate in this because my server is really new super new and uh we have leadership in the server that you can kind of tell that time is going to, you know what I mean, eliminate this leadership. And then <laughs> then the real leaders of the server, the real uh, region chief is going to surface. Uh, I, we have a region. We have region chiefs rotating. But, you know, realistically, we don't actually have a region chief because they're rotating. They're voting. They're uh, taking turns, so we don't have like a chief chief of the server. We have a strongest clan, and uh, we have a strongest clan, but like I said, the way that clan is doing things, I'm not going to mention that clan's name uh, and make them you know, famous on my channel or famous in this video, so that's why I'm not mentioning anybody's names on my stuff. You, you just either know what I'm talking about or not. <laughs> uh, but the way they're doing things, time is going to weed these people out of leadership because they don't uh, possess skills. to. They, they're not even leading themselves 
you know what I mean, well. So judging by what they choose to talk about, the subject matter they choose to talk about. So they're not really managing themselves that well. So you know they're not going to be able to manage a whole server of people, thousands of people. So I just already know time is going to weed this person out of leadership. And then we will have a true uh, region chief that people could, you know, respect or whatever and what not. But uh, anyway, there's going to be new community buildings, new boss uh, for other servers. It says in the Q&A. So there's a Q&A down here somewhere that uh, you're going to be in your same clans. Okay, so that is the guess. Okay, so they say stay tuned for more information. Um, Y'all should be done by now because October is three days away. So what other information is there to provide? <laughs> so they keep doing the Q&A. This is the one. So it's saying how many clans will be able to participate in season two? What are the requirements? Any clan with 5,000 more prosperity is eligible to participate in season two. Individual players will also require at least town hall level 16 to enter the new map. So I don't qualify. My clan does not qualify to uh, participate in season two. Uh, will there be only PVP content in the new map or also new PVE content? Season 2's main focus will be PvP with an all-new PvP gameplay mode. However, there will also be new PvE content such as new enemies and storylines. Uh, what will happen to our original map region when we enter the new map? Will we be able to move back and forth? The original map region will remain unchanged. Players can move back and forth between the original region and a new map. However, we strongly suggest players to grow and develop in a new map that provides new challenges and generous rewards. So, I think... Uh, Okay, so you'll be able to move back and forth. So this may be good news for my clan because uh, once our top people, if they move to that new map and they stay in that map, you know what I mean? Then they open up, you know, they leave, they open up, you know, they they leave some spots for smaller clans to get, you understand, if they leave that map. But it's only going to last for two uh, When we enter the new map, we'll be able to move back and forth. So, so how will the matchmaking work for season two? Since this is a long-term event, balanced matchmaking is key for player enjoyment. Season two is a completely new gameplay feature. We understand the importance of matchmaking for this large-scale event. Please rest assured that we will make sure matchmaking will be fair to ensure an enjoyable playing experience for all players. Uh, will we be? Will we need to construct outposts and clan territories to attack community buildings or attack di directly? So that's common sense. You know, it's going to be the same. I mean, the same as in your current region. How long will you be able to stay in the map? Uh, around ten weeks. So after that ten weeks, these people are probably going to come back to the server. Okay, but guess what? Ten weeks is a lot of weeks. That's uh, two and a half months. So we'll have. So when the top clans move to that uh, season two map, we'll have two and a half months to grow, <laughs> to do our thug thizzles. All right. And uh, I guess they'll have to re reconquer when they come back or something. I don't know. So our rewards come to all members of the winning regions or just members of the remaining clan. There will be special ranking rewards for the top 10 clans at the end of Season 2, but rewards for our new PvP clan gameplay format will be given to the whole region according to the ranking. More information on this new PvP gameplay will be revealed soon. Will we still be able to participate in the Restricted Zone while in Season 2? Yes, Season 2 will not affect the Restricted Zone in any way. Are there plans for more seasons, Season 3, 4, etc., each with a new map? Yes, development for Season 3 has already begun. Each new season will have a new story and new challenges. Will you consider server merger or server relocation during or after Season 2? It is currently under consideration, but no definite plans have been made. Will all members of a region be placed in the temporary region clan so that we can build together? 
or will we still be separated into clans while in the new map? We move to the new map, player will still be separated in their original clan. So, again, weird. I don't know how. Okay, so can they manage? So, if the top clans leave, can they manage? So, we, I'm, you know, this probably good news for small clans. We're going to have time. We're going to have a two month breather room while they are away at season two uh to uh, grow and whatnot uh we hope that these answers clear up your questions regarding upcoming season two gameplay more information will be released soon as beta testing continues so stay tuned for more so i don't qualify to go into season two and uh yeah I don't qualify for season two, but uh, for you guys who do, who you're in a clan with a prosperity of over 5,000, which there are plenty of clans in this region. Hopefully they all go on to season two. I don't see why not. There's a bunch of rewards and stuff to get. You know what I mean? They may come back a lot stronger, but at least I have that two and a half months, you know what I mean, to grow in my server unfettered by uh, these, the, you know, by oppressive type people. Who really shouldn't be in charge of anything. <laughs> okay, so. Sounds really ambitious. That's the word that comes to mind when I first heard of season two. Like they're really trying to push things and, and push this game. And this is what I predicted. That they're really serious about this game. So that's why I'm invested. If they're invested, if they go going ham, if they're serious about it, then that's what I'm going to do. Now, I want to spend my money and time and effort and stuff on a game that developers care about is not just a cash grab. Yes, a lot of things in this game are expensive, but it's not just a cash grab. There's attention to detail. They are doing a lot with this title. And I appreciate it. <laughs> OK, so that was a look into uh, season two. Uh, uh, prepare yourselves. For what's coming it sounds good when you put it that way it looks like i'll have 10 as i know my top clans are definitely gonna um uh, participate in season two so uh, it looks like i'm gonna be having uh a period of time uh where i can grow my clan without worrying about being micromanaged i'll put it that way <laughs> micromanaged by top region chiefs who think they should control every aspect of everything and just be tyrannical you understand you're not gonna last because you can't fight off everybody so you're not gonna last i called it you're not gonna last your clan is gonna be overtaken you know who i'm talking about and uh it looks like this is going to be a big help if you if you choose to participate in season two. OK, so or, or maybe maybe you progress faster in season two. Never know. Never know. Uh, But yeah, thanks for watching. That was a look, a sneak peek into season two explaining pretty much what they revealed to us so far and what I think it's going to look like. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.